Hey guys, welcome to the start of another weekly reading vlog. So it's Tuesday afternoon now, it is 4.30pm. I have been not necessarily dreading starting this vlog, but I'm still reading Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. And I'm going to be reading it for quite some time because I'm only on page 200 of 840. So I don't really have anything to tell you, which is why I've kind of put the brakes on actually getting this vlog rolling. But sooner is better than later, even if I don't have much to tell you throughout the rest of the week, at least this vlog is started. So if you guys don't know what this is, it is the third book in the Farsia trilogy, which is the first trilogy in the realm of the Adlings. It's an adult epic fantasy series. It's it's a chunky one and it follows a young man called Fitz who is an assassin for the crown. Don't really want to go into a full synopsis of this here because I did do it at the end of last week's vlog. I also did it in my August TBR and it's kind of looking unlikely that I'm going to finish this this week so I'll, I'll be doing it again next week and also when I wrap this up. But yeah I'm still plodding along with this. I've been contemplating starting something else a little bit faster paced alongside it because my August TBR is considerably chunky. It's not like overwhelmingly large but I do have quite a few books on there that I need to read and the majority of them are fantasy as well I think. So I may start another book alongside it and I will let you know if I do. I don't have too many plans for this week. I have quite a bit of work to get done because my only real thing that's happening this week is that on Thursday evening I'm going to pick Ashley up. So you guys probably know that Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction does usually come to my house quite regularly. She lives an hour and 30 minutes away from me and there is actually a direct train from the place where she lives to the place where I live. So she's usually here quite frequently. However, with lockdown, we obviously couldn't see each other at all. I know we can, but public transport is a little bit of a bitch. So I keep saying that I'll go pick her up and then I just can't be bothered because quite honestly, I have not moved my car more than once a month for the entirety of lockdown. I stopped getting my nails done in lockdown because I couldn't. So I went to visit my dad a couple of times and then now that I've started getting my nails done, I drive five minutes away to get my nails done like once a month. Literally, I think it was about a month ago, I said to Ashley, I have a full tank of petrol now because I had to fill up to go see my dad so I can come pick you up and it's not as big of a deal because I don't have to pay for it because the petrol's already in my car. I still have that full tank of petrol in my car and it was over a month ago that I said this to Ashley because I haven't seen my dad in quite a few weeks as well. So yeah, that is the only thing that's really happening this week. And then Ashley coming on Thursday is also the reason why I don't think I'm going to finish Assassin's Quest because even though I may do a little bit of reading while she's here. I'm not going to do enough reading to be able to make any serious progress in this book while she's here. We don't really have any plans either. My dad is coming at the weekend to check some brickwork, really boring stuff. Um, I have a damp patch in my living room and when I went outside to look at the walls, the brick needs something doing with it. So my dad is coming to see whether I need to get somebody to replace some of the bricks in the wall and redo the grout in or whether he can add some cement into the wall to plug in all the gaps that we've got. Um, yeah, and that that is it. Aside from that, I'm just working. I'm aiming to have the new product release up on Grace and Honey this week, hopefully Friday. I've just got the batch of fragrance oils that I need for that to go live. So I'm going to head into the kitchen when I'm done with this update, make up my prototypes so that I can get photos for that. Obviously, as usual, I have candles to work on and I have two videos to film tomorrow that I will be editing throughout the rest of the week. So yeah, just working and a little bit of Ashley this week, I'm afraid. <laughs> hey guys, don't get too excited because I've read absolutely nothing but I do have just here the new candle release that is going live on Friday so it will be before this video goes up but I have a very small amount going into the initial stock of these and then if they sell out pretty quickly I will just restock them immediately because I do have everything in my basket to restock them again if needs be. So I thought I would show you what they are. Link in my description if you want to get your hands on them as usual. There's a discount code down there as well. So the first two are the only ones where there's like two for one book and these are for the Nevermore series or the Morrigan Crow series by Jessica Townsend. The first one of these is the Brolly Rail and the scent on this is Lemon Zest, Melon and Vanilla. Now initially when I first smelled this as a fragrance I could just smell the cleaning of it like it smells like a cleaning product 
but then in a candle it smells really really nice not that cleaning products don't smell nice but like you can smell the fruitiness of it when it's in a candle as a fragrance oil it literally smells like a cleaning product but this is blue the idea for this is that well gavin decided this he wanted me to make candles that match the series and he wanted me to do the nevermore ones to match the nevermore book this one would have been blue anyway because the brolly rail but it is blue with blue and silver glitter on top and it is a very fresh smelling candle then we have is this one my favorite this could be my favorite one from the release and this one is one sock weather so it smells like cherry blossom and sweet pea the fragrance and name of this have been lifted straight from the book because the first thing that morrigan sees when she approaches the wondrous society is a path that's lined with cherry blossoms so as soon as i read that i knew i wanted to do a cherry blossom candle because i do just generally really like the smell of cherry blossoms this one is red it would have been pink but like i said gavin wanted them to match the books why is gavin making my decisions for me that is a question we should really be asking here and this one is sweeter than i imagined it to be like it definitely smells like florals and i would say that it's a predominantly floral scent but it does have like a, a sweet undertone to it that i really like and if you have the lord of the mist candle that was in the june release that i did that is inspired by miss bond then it's kind of a similar type of fragrance to that i did think originally that they smelled quite similar but if you smell them side by side they're actually completely different the glitter on this one is pink so the two other candles i have are inspired by two books i've read recently and really really loved this is not one of them i'll probably read again the first one is no one's sacrifice this one is inspired by serpent and dove and the scent on this is blackberry blackcurrant and cinnamon the scent descriptors in the actual book say that louise smells like honey and cinnamon but i already have a honey and cinnamon candle which is the fire breathing bitch queen one so we went with a spicy blackberry scent because we have the cinnamon as described in the book and i feel like the dark fruit is very fitting for louise so this one is black with gold glitter so it matches the cover of serpent and dove and it smells so good Mm. because we have two berries in here it smells like a blackberry or forest fruits tart which is is beautiful and as well this one is probably the sweetest of the four and then the last one we have is the scourge of kizi i want to say it's kizi my pronunciation may not be right there but this one is orange star anise and cinnamon and this one is inspired by dara from the city of brass i asked ashley to pick the color for this and she said red with gold glitter because dara's fire i went for more of a bronzy gold than a actual like yellowy gold for this and this is orange spice dara smells like christmas guys in the book it is said that dara smells like citrus and spice so we went for citrus and spice with this one and yeah I really do like that one actually. So these are the four candles for the August release. It's a little bit later than I wanted to release them, but they will all be available on my website by the time this video goes up. Like I said, link in the description box. And now that these are uh, out of the way it is time for me to start planning the fall release which i do already have some of the fragrances lined up i have a couple of samples on my way as well we're having one of my two fall candles from previous years returning a bunch of hocus pocus isn't coming back but cozy fall reads probably will be because it smells amazing and i'm going to be adding at least two more to the fall line and then after the fall line we have christmas so yeah time flies guys but that is all i got for you right now it is around 8 p.m i'm picking up ashley tomorrow i have so much that i need to do i want to tidy a bit i don't actually have to do too much but um yeah i have four stacks of books on the floor where i've been filming so i need to do stuff like put those away i have a couple of subscription boxes that i need to empty all of the packaging out of so i can flatten them down and get rid of those just yeah just basic tidy and stuff that gets left and needs doing i also need to edit my video tomorrow i filmed two videos today and they were both quite long ones one was especially rambly i'm not sure if i want to edit that video tonight so that tomorrow is not too stressful but i also haven't read a single page today and i also want to work out and shower so i'm not sure 
what I'm gonna do. Like I said, it is 8 p.m. so I kind of don't want to do any more work, but at the same time, I think I'll feel better tomorrow if I get something done now because I do have to pull my car around tomorrow, check my oil and water, check my tire pressure, and make sure everything's fine with my car because it's been a while since she's been on a long journey. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit stressed about that because my hands-free thing actually, my holder for my phone, falls off the dash quite regularly and I can't remember whether it's stuck to the dash at the minute or whether it's fallen off. And if it's fallen off, I'm gonna have to sort that out again. And it's so frustrating because I had one and it was stuck to my dash for ages and everything was fine. And then my great-grandmother died. Total segue, my great-grandmother died. It was a couple of years ago now, so don't worry guys, it's not recent, I'm fine. But that also coincided with another family member's death and they were both kind of like my mum's older relatives. So my dad went with her to one of the funerals to the family member that I didn't really know. And then I went to my great grandmother's funeral and I had to drive. <laughs> 200 miles so my dad insured me on his car so I took my phone at the point of this is I took my phone holder out of my car it was suctioned onto my dash and had been for two years and tried to stick it to my dad's car and it wouldn't stick and since then this was 2018 since then I have not had a phone holder it will actually stick to my dash and I can't have one of the ones that clips onto a vent because I have a Citroen my vents are round so if you put a phone holder in the vent and stick a phone on it it just falls so yeah anyway random tangent I'm gonna go decide how much work I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Hopefully work out, shower, get some sleep, and tomorrow I will be bringing you an Ashley. Hey guys, it's, what day is it? Friday. It's Friday. Um, it's really warm here. It's like 24 degrees and it's like 10 o'clock. Ish. I don't actually know. We don't have any time devices. I, it's late and it's really, really hot. <laughs> I think we're having a barbecue tomorrow. Ashley's here. She's over there. Oh, my wings just like jiggled. <laughs> We do this all the time. You wait to be introduced and then you just like drop in. Hey. Um, so we've just been playing rock band. We both oh, work today. Sure. <laughs> I was gonna lift that. I was gonna lift the screen as though that would help you. There we go. Um, we've been playing rock band and we worked today. That's it. Just pretty much it. And then we played more rock band. We watched half of Hamilton. We have another half of Hamilton to watch at some point. And then we sang the Hamilton soundtrack on rock band. And now we're singing it all again. It's great. It's having a great time. That's it. This is my bad side. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> just realised why I look so weird. Because um, I don't normally film this way. But it is the... What's the date? <laughs> <laughs> Also, neither of us can breathe because hay fever today. We're doing a struggle. Yeah, it's been it's been a real bad day. <laughs> I might just go and get my phone so we can actually establish where we are. <laughs> BRB, yeah. Oh, what's going on? I'm swapping to my good side. Time will tell. Okay, Ashley, give us the time and the date. It is Friday, the 7th of August, 10.38 p.m. Okay. So it has, wait, Friday the what of August? 7th. It's been three months and two days since my 27th birthday and Ashley finally <laughs> gave me a birthday gift. <laughs> Which is a book I already had and I was like, bitch, I already have this book. And she was like, well, you're having it again. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you might like this one. <laughs> but Ashley has actually painted all of the edges on it. So it's like a special edition and it has a note inside that says that it's a special edition. And she also painted on the cover as well. So it's all pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was, so that was that. Um, but then she also got me two prints. One of a Braxis from Throne of Glass and one of Manon from Throne of Glass. And the artist on these is TJ Lebrano. I will link the Etsy shop in the description box if I can find it, which I should be able to. <laughs> um, so thank you, I've already said thank you, but all thank right. you again <laughs> for my birthday gift. <laughs> Very belated birthday present. Very, very belated <laughs> birthday present. Uh, yeah, but we just thought, well, I thought I should actually give some vlog content because I haven't. Have you read anything today, Ashley? Oh, we read, um, yeah, we did. We read the synopsis to oh, Evan Hampson. <laughs> Evan, Evan Hampson, that's not right. Yeah, yeah Evan Hanson. I said Hampson. <laughs> Are you doing a struggle today? <laughs> yeah, I think it must be the heat because like I swear we're not drunk. At least I'm not. And I know that you're <laughs> I'm in your house. Where have I got stuff from? 
Oh god. Um, I thought I'd down a bottle while I went to the loo. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck, I've only got vodka. <laughs> wow. So yeah, we, we read that. That was a trip. It was a trip. So now I want to see it because it just sounds really wild. Like I thought, because it's a contemporary kind of story, I thought it'd be boring, but man, does it sound wild. Yeah, I literally thought it was about somebody who was in rehab, coming out of rehab, and then something goes wrong and they die and the friend does a whole thing about it. it it's not. It's really not about it's really, that. really not. <laughs> yeah, so we that's what we've been doing. What? <laughs> I swear I do this all the time. <laughs> I forgot how to vlog with people. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. So... Yeah, I don't think we have anything else to say. Did I tell you we're having a barbecue tomorrow? Well, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not okay. And I'm wheezing <laughs> because my voice has gone from single in the Hamilton to soundtrack like one and a half times, like halfway through with the intermission. This is the intermission. <laughs> Behind the scenes of Hamilton. We do uh, at least know his roles because I do all the high notes so that is just automatically all the men. I'm... <laughs> We do some good harmonies. That's great. I'm just generally Aaron Burr, so. So yeah, I guess we'll get back to that. I, th I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> this is a mess we're going by. <laughs> Leaving. Looking from the top of the shelf And how could I do this to myself Swept out from under my feet Cause it was barely six weeks talking to me Guess you were not the one for me But how this surely just cannot be I know you're thinking of me And how I treated you just the way you should And how I could not believe Now that you are, you are the one that I'll miss And you are, you are the one I'll reminisce And I'm looking back to when I first met you And all I'm thinking is you are, you are the one that I'll miss Nicknames turned to pet names so fast Guess now all of that's in the past Seems like you were all I had When the kisses on your cheek never last Trying to think positively I know that's what you would want from me Watching sunsets from the beach And thinking how much that you meant to me But now I see, now I see That you are, you are the one that I'll miss And you are, you are the one I'll reminisce And I'm looking back to when I first met you And all I'm thinking is you are, you are the one that I'll miss You are the one that I'll miss I took Ashley back a couple of hours ago and then I had a shower and I've done just a little bit of reading. I'm reading on my Kindle so I'm not exactly sure where I'm up to but I'm around probably the page 280, 290 mark. So I really got to get my shit together to have this finished by next Sunday and I also need to read The Dawn Chorus by Samantha Shannon for next Saturday. So I need to get my shit together but I think think I'm gonna be able to do it. So that is it for my reading updates. I have nothing else to tell you. I've not read anything aside from the one chapter I just read since Wednesday night, I wanna say. And I feel like I should also address the elephant in the room, which is the really big fucking cat who is currently down here on the floor. As you guys may have noticed from the B-roll and stuff, I have a cat now. Really last minute spare of the moment thing. I've had cats before, so like I know what to do with him. But I texted my dad on Saturday morning and asked him what time he was coming to look at the brickwork, which I think I mentioned he was doing earlier in this vlog. Then a couple of hours later, I noticed that I had a missed call. So I called him back and he said that one of his neighbors was looking at rehoming that cat and did I want him. So his backstory is that he was a stray and he was taken in by somebody that lives near my dad and then he was passed on to somebody else who was looking after him who was no longer very well like really really not well they have cancer so they can't look after him because they're in and out of hospital all the time and no no he's with me he was called socks but 
it's he doesn't respond to it because he hasn't had that name very long so i have renamed him and he's called hamilton <laughs> But you can guess why. Really silly decision on my part because I can't say his name without singing it. So instead of calling Hamilton, I just constantly sing Alexander Hamilton. And he just looks at me like I'm dumb, which I am. But he's settling in nicely. He's having issues with his literary. He doesn't like it, but he is using it. He's not eating very much yet. I think it is just the stress of being in a new place. But once again, he is eating, just not a great deal. He's pretty much commandeered my spare bedroom. He slept with Ashley last night and he won't be sleeping with me tonight because Curtis doesn't love animals. So his only stipulation with me getting this cat was that it cannot sleep in the bedroom. So we have to have the bedroom door closed at night. So I'm, I'm hoping he'll be okay on his own tonight, but he has been sleeping a lot anyway. So I think he's gonna be okay. And yeah, he's a really sweet cat. He's attentive, he's affectionate. He doesn't really bite or scratch or anything. If you annoy him, he won't hurt you which is great because i have grown up with some really mean cats but yeah i got a cat and i imagine you will be seeing him around from now on i don't know how he's going to react to me filming i don't know whether he's just going to barge his way into my videos because i haven't filmed since i've got him but yeah i guess we will find out over the coming days weeks months and years oh also friday i went and got my nails done so i have non matching nails i can't show you both hands at once right now here we go so they're like they're a gradient yeah Aside from those things, I had a great time with Ashley this weekend. Pretty solid drive there and back today. And that is all I have for this week's vlog. Not a lot of reading, I'm sorry, but I've had a pretty decent week. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you made it this far. If you have, please don't forget to like if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you will go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no